In this episode, we introduce you to Pam, who goes by the name Tiki Trex. She visits the, the ghost town of Teca Teacup in South Nevada, where gold, silver, copper, and lead used to be mined. Nevada checking out ghost towns, the old west ghost towns, and I was hoping to find one that's more in its original state, not turned into a tourist trap. And I like this one in particular because it seems to be close to that. A lot of the buildings are still in their original state. You can walk up to them, they're not fenced in. Also, there was a lot of history here. It was a lawless community, so there was a lot of shootings. It gave the uh, three mines here a very bad reputation due to that fact. It looks very interesting, so I don't know what each building is or anything, but I thought we'd look around and check it out. And there's three mines. One big one was called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Tecate Cup Mine. And that's the one with the bad reputation because of all, all the shootings. Probably when the uh, gold prospectors arrived a century later after the Spaniards had discovered it, that caused a lot of feuding for the land. And from my understanding, the mines operated from around 19 or 1858 to 1945 and were mainly Civil War deserters because over in the eastern states or the territories, you would be in trouble for leaving the Civil War. So they probably came to the west here so that they could escape jail time or hanging. I think they hung people back then. But looking at this, that looks like that might have been the Tecatecup mine. You can see the remains there. They seem pretty much untouched. It looks like water might have went in that steel area up there and flowed down into these containers here that might have had the ore in it where they extracted the gold from. I don't know if, they, if I mentioned, but they mined gold, silver, copper, and lead, and they made millions at it. This is one of the first gold strike areas, major gold strike areas in Nevada. And check out the old bus here. You can tell that's been untouched. I've been to a couple other ghost towns, but they had fences around them, so you couldn't get near anything. But, I mean, this, this place is great. I know they offer mining tours. So it's a little bit touristy, but it's hard to find any that are totally original. And this rock here, it looks white. I wonder if that has something to do with Maybe the trailings, I think they're called, no, tailings of what's left over after they separate the rock to get the gold out of it. Look, it looks like you can even get up in this, this bus here. Yeah, you can even walk inside here. See, it's just all original. Wow, this is really cool. Get your little gauges there. I'm just looking out the window. If you take that road all the way down to the end, it goes to the Adorado Canyon, which is the river. 
and that's why they rent kayaks here. Well, not much left of that steering wheel. <laughs> This is really cool. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can get inside the buildings or not. I kind of hope so, but might be a couple we can get into anyway. Farm truck. So they even, you can even open the doors. Actually, the dash is in pretty good shape still. I don't know what years these are, but. Thirties and forties likely. 30s, 40s, 50s. Don't know my cars. A typical Volkswagen bug there. Some more tailings. I suspect. I don't know for sure. still some seats in here. See the door is jammed so they're not maintaining things which is good. <laughs> so, at least for our purposes because I like to see things in their natural decaying state and I think a lot of you do too. See it's all dirty. I don't know where all the other seats went. Cool. Now look at this one's got a uh, like an old spare tire on the side of the car. That's different. Is it like steel? Okay, that door seized. See, they left the cracks in the windshields and everything. The cushioning's just disintegrated out of all these seats. I don't know what that would have been. Looks like some sort of a vent. It still has the wire and, and the plug here. Another bus. A lot of buses here. They must have been maybe what took people up into the camp or uh, the mines. I don't know. I want to keep calling them camps, but. Maybe they want they uh, took everybody up to the mines. Because it was a, a very thriving village at, at its time and its day. Still a little bit of upholstery left on this one. Look at all the switches here. Fuse panel, glove box. That's kind of different the way the padding is up here, in a like quilted fashion. A little kitchen. <laughs> 
almost like exploring a little mini house. I don't know if this, this must have been put in since. For that light, maybe just for people that want to come in at night time. The smashed glass here that just, they just left. Which again, I like because it shows that it just, they try to leave things as natural as possible. What's up with this rock? It's an owner's manual. What's the year on that? I'm not even sure if there is one. It's quite yellowed though. It's for the stove. Okay. No. Oh, they don't let you go in there. There's a wire. There's just like a disintegrating mattress down there. No, even though they don't let you inside there, it's been left as is. an old wagon wheel thing. A little bench seat. <laughs> Look at the view, isn't that beautiful? There's a lot of smaller equipment here left over from the mines. I can't tell you what any of that is. That almost looks like a cement mixer. This is actually the plane that was used in the movie 3000 Miles to Graceland with Kevin Costner. And they blew it up over across the road or somewhere else here and they just planted it here to make it look like it crashed into the tailing. Let's get a closer look of it. Kind of a good place to leave it. Little propeller blade there. And I don't I don't know if you can notice or not but there's a sign there saying danger cyanide. I'm not allowed to walk past this point but I'm just wondering if cyanide was used in this tank here and was mixed with the rock in the mine and combined maybe broke down the minerals or broke down the rock to bring out the minerals that they were mining. So that's interesting. Here's another little water tower. I don't know what you call that little tank up there. Looks like an old milk truck. Actually, it's nice and cool in these. It's really hot out here today in the desert sun. So even just the shelter of these cools it down quite a bit. Now, I don't know if we can get in this building or not. Let's see if we can.
another old truck, but they don't they don't let you in there. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get in. <laughs> but lots of neat stuff outside here though. Oh, you can get in. The door's open there. It still says private. Yeah, it looks like they might be using this for... I don't know if this was from before. They might be using it now, I don't know. And there's old jugs up there. That's old hubcaps. I wonder what the 32 stands for. We've got some old machinery here. Lots of heavy duty steel chain that I just tripped over. Just cars everywhere. I think we've snow. Wow, listen to that. <laughs> Whale spoken here. Even has an exit sign on the back. Well, it's hot in this one. This building here, you would think was a jail, but looking inside, Look at these old machines there. You would almost think that maybe they were analyzers and then you got the sink there. So maybe this is where they stored the finished product and weighed it and just kind of kept it until it was ready to be uh, shipped out. Most of their shipping was done through the Colorado River by boat. So that's interesting. The um, front of it looks like this. And there's a Texaco sign on it. Okay, across the road. Here's some information right here. Some of it you can't read because it's kind of deteriorated, but you can get most of it. So I won't read that, but if you want to, you can just pause it and read that. It looks like there's another sign over here. See, that's the name of the mine there. Check it to cup. See, I don't know how to pronounce that. Here's an old tank or an old fuel pump. Tesco filling station. This is kind of cool. I love these old fronts, storefronts like this from the Old West. The balcony up there. I'm sure it was likely an old saloon because the miners love their saloons. Okay, there's some like hardware fixings, but then there's you know, the skeleton of something. can't imagine what it is because there's not much wildlife here. How are, Are these like old moonshine jugs?
Maybe they made their own moonshine for the saloons. There's another water thing up there. Danger, go back. Okay. Can't go far anyway. Oh look, there's a basement. Oh, that scared me. Oh my god. I thought there was someone sitting there. It smells pretty musty in here. Yeah, see. Can imagine what's down there. Oh look at this old cash register. The old phone. Wow, this is like truly fascinating that this stuff is just out in the open to look at. up there. Look at all the old stuff in here. Well, stuff's pretty rusty, so I don't think it's what they're using today. It looks like it's kind of mixed with what was left here and some of their own stuff, whoever is staying here or taking care of the place. paper towels. Is that an old ringer washer? There's the back side of that place. I'm kind of confused. I don't know if I was in there or not. I don't think I was. There's so many buildings around here. the rattle fence. Look at the curtains. That's another old gas pump. Number two diesel. Seized. More cars over there. I guess that's what their old transport trucks look like. Must have been again for the finished product after they extracted it from the rock.
it's still in pretty good shape. I guess that's what happens when you have cars in places like Arizona where they don't use salt on the roads. And another old truck there. Okay, well, it's, it's pretty hot out here, <laughs> so I think I'm going to get going. I just hope that you enjoyed the tour. I know I did. Thanks for watching, guys.